Hi everyone, this is my multiplying decimal numbers map uh, that I've just uploaded to Minecraft EDU World Library. So uh, let's dive in and take a look at it. Hi everyone, this is my multiplying decimal number map. And uh, it's, uh, it's a loop, uh, believe it or not. It's a strange loop, but it is a loop. And I'm starting outside just to show you that there is a quite a few machines uh, that had to be built for this to work and uh, I'm just gonna drop down and start right here along the way every third I think third problem uh, there are twelve problems so every two or three problems I have a a colored pad and so my plan is to teleport my students in groups uh, to their pads and uh, so they'll start at different places but they're doing the same problems and they're sort of racing each other so they certainly can catch each other so you can see here's my number pad and I do definitely want to give some thanks to FedEx Gaming I watched his YouTube video to understand how to do a number pad and uh, mine doesn't look like his uh, his is a nine digit pad and uh, I have um, eleven and so it didn't really work the same way that his did I had to just sort of uh, you just put them all horizontally like this, um, uh, but it works, you know. And the basic machine behind it is is exactly what what I saw on his. So the point is, that I don't tell them what the problems are. They just have to hunt around for the problems, and uh, and then when they when they find it, um, in this case, uh, most of them aren't don't have question marks. Most of them are just a problem. But I on this one, I try to make it a little different. So they're looking for one of the factors and. On their way back, they'll they'll discover it. You know, nothing too hard. So what they'll do is they will. I'm going to take myself out of build mode here. Uh, what they'll do is uh, they'll solve the problem. They'll come back over here, and all the problems have a reset button. So they really should um, press that and uh, that open. Let me step on the pads here, and uh, I might not have done that the last time. There we go, and. They uh, they type in the answer, one, two, nine hundred twenty nine and fifty six hundreds. Bingo! They walk through. They step on the pads. It automatically shuts for the next group. There's another pad right over there, a notepad or note block rather, and you can see it's a little bit of parkour to get over there, uh, and then the, uh, the same kind of uh, number pad. Uh, let's see, am I in creative? Yes, I am. Actually, I want to go through, I'm going to put myself back in build mode. Sorry about that. That way I can uh, just run through. And uh, over here, there's a little drop down into some water. They swim, they pop up, and they find uh, another note um, block right there. Come back, solve the problem, um, and plug it in. Uh, a little parkour little more parkour, there's the pad, uh, the note block rather, right over there. Parkouring up, a little bit more. So I try to make it, uh, you know, there's some similarities in the challenges, but uh, I try to create a little bit of variety. Again, some uh, water, water hazard. This is a maze that wraps all the way around. Not too long though, here's some lava at the top to parkour over. Note pad right there. Note block. I keep saying note, notepad, note block. Uh, here's a uh, trap, an arrow trap there. And then once they get through it, then the note block is above them, so they have to look around for it. Okay. And let's see what happens. Oh, I like this one. One of these it's over here somewhere. I don't remember which one, but one of these will open a door, secret door. Uh, this one isn't so much a, a challenge or anything. It really just uh, allows them to move around and uh, see the machine and the notepad, um, note block. Gosh, note blocks over there. I think we're getting close to the end here. Hop in, hop, hop, hop. Oh wait, notepad's behind them. My hope is that they get all the way through and go. Wait, ah, oh, doggone, have to go back for it. You know, I here's another one. You know, I find if I give them problems, and back to the beginning, if I give them problems to work on, you know, you're always going to have some kids, and, and i got to be honest with you, this this year I have a few. 
that would just be off. They eventually would get bored with what they're doing. They'd be off task. Giving them something like this, whether it's Minecraft EDU or, or some other, um, you know, a, a, you know, an online game or something that they can play and work through. Whatever. I love Minecraft EDU, obviously. So let me push for Minecraft EDU. If I give them problems to solve, and that's really all they're doing in this game. Yeah, it's a little parkour, but it's it's just solving 12 problems, right? But it'll keep them engaged the entire time, and more than likely they'll get all 12 problems done in a single class period. And uh, and you know and you know you may have some kids that do that anyway, you know. But some of us have a class where 12 multiplying decimal problems is not going to get done in a class period. They will distract themselves and 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 uh, and not get that done. And then I have quite a few kids that won't go home and do that for homework, you know. So th those things don't work for me. I I have to really give them something that will engage them. And and Minecraft EDU is definitely the ticket, right? So um, I hope that you like this map. Um, uh, you know, I, again, it, it, like, like in any of my stuff, uh, I welcome uh, any kind of feedback. And so if there's a problem, if one of the machines isn't uh, behaving, um, please, please let me know. And uh, I would say that this would be easy enough to modify and use other kind of problems, but each machine would have to be modified. And if you're willing to watch FedEx Gaming's um, a video, uh, then y you could figure out how to do that, you know, and just keep these in place and, and just change the, the answers. It wouldn't necessarily be a quick, easy project, but you could definitely get it done. Um, but hopefully you'll like it the way it is and, uh, and use it. And I hope that your students like it too. Hey, thanks for watching.